G'day everyone, the no recoil growl. Let's get into it. For this video, I'll be using the Taylor Drift Scottish Tryhard 3.0 beta script. To download this one, you'll need to be in the Taylor Drift Discord and there'll be a link to that in the description. You'll need to have the newest Zen Studio and you'll need to have the newest beta firmware installed on your Zen for this script to work. If you're not sure how to install both of those, I have a video and I'll link that in the description as well. Also in the description, you'll find a link to a video of mine explaining how to set this script up. So if you're new, then go and watch that first, then come back to this one. First off, let's have a look at the attachments. So this is my all time favorite weapon that's why it's obsidian so i've got mono suppressor the archangel barrel the tack laser commando foregrip and a 60 round mag all right now let's have a look at the anti-recoil for the weapon i love this weapon it's my all-time favorite one in the game so i know exactly what we need to do now we're only going to need to use either rumble or legacy anti-recoil i've been using it since i only played on console like this weapon and i've also been using the legacy anti-recoil that was in the older taylor drift scripts um so i know this works on adfov as well as 120 i just i know it works um so either way what you're going to do is choose either rumble or legacy that's completely up to you uh, the weapons recoil goes up and to the right so you're going to need to uh, increase your vertical anti-recoil and if you want to use horizontal that's going to have to go into the negative all right so the way we work it out is we start on something for the vertical you don't have to copy mine exactly just put something in there and then for the horizontal value if you want to use it again that will go into the negative all right um so i'm going to try that there back out so that saves and then see how that goes shooting at the wall so straight away we can see that's going down so that's going to be too strong for that weapon so i'll put the rumble down to maybe 15 and try that instead see what we've got still going down there so let's try putting that there too and maybe 13 instead Try it out. Still going down just a little bit. Try 11. Have a look. Got. And I mean, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> there you go. All right. For the people that really do want the 60 dots on the wall, this is the weapon for you, you know? Um, yeah. So that's extremely easy to do. You just need to play around with that Rumble or Legacy anti recoil value. Uh, you can't copy that and expect it to work the same for you, but you just follow that same process. So, you know, maybe start on five or 10 for the vertical, negative one for the horizontal, and then work your way from there. Uh, it's going to be very easy to figure it out. Now on ADFOV, this works the exact same way. So let's have a look here. Now ADFOV uh, with those same values in there that I had before. All right, so let's just see what that's like. I'm sure we've got it. It's not going to be enough as usual. Yep. So we go into the menu, that's going up. So we'll increase that rumble anti-recoil value. Back out so that saves. And we try again. And I mean, it looks like it's going up just a tiny little bit there. So let's try maybe 16 instead. And let's see how we go here. Oh, yeah, oh, there you go, really. A little bit, look, a tiny little bit of movement. So you could maybe play around with that horizontal a bit. Just keep in mind that, you know, if you almost have it absolutely locked in and then you change the horizontal a little bit, it, it could throw out the vertical, you know, a bit more than what you expect. So just keep that in mind as well. Let's see what it's like. I mean, I would have been happy with that previous one. It's not going to matter when you're shooting at a person anyway. Um, but there you go. Very easy to fix that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You're not going to have any issues. This one's extremely easy to work out. For anybody that's new to the script, especially if you're not sure what to do with the aim assist stuff, come down to the admin value section of the script, move over to the v4, v5, v6 section, and scroll through the list. These are aim assist presets from the uh, admins of the Taylor Drift Discord. So you need to go through and just pick one, right? So say, for example, you want to go that one there, just press B or circle, and it'll preset all the aim assist values for you. You don't have to go through and worry about, oh, what does this do? What does that do? What should I have this on? If you end up not liking that one, or you just want to try another one, you come back to the admin value section, go over to where you were, and then scroll through and choose another one. So maybe you want to try this one here, get to there you just press b or circle and it'll automatically preset those aim assist values for you i also have mine in here as well so if you scroll through the list you will be able to find my ones if i scroll through here you can see way no pc and way no console the only difference between the two is that the one on pc has a higher radius to compensate for the higher fov that people on pc get to play on and there we go so that's everything i wanted to go through for this video if you do have any questions about it feel free to ask those in the comments i'm going to leave you with some clips of me using this weapon cheers for watching i'll see you next time
Hostile dropping into the area. Watch the skies. <laughs> <laughs> 